This is the Australian Fishing Championships. The road to Timbra. 11 of Australia's elite Brim, Bass and Barramundi anglers have been assembled to form four powerhouse teams. Each team has been equipped with the latest high performance tournament angling craft matched with the most powerful engine and the latest innovations in fishing tackle. We've chosen six of the most challenging locations on the eastern seaboard to test the expertise of our pros. Foster, the oyster capital of Australia. The unspoiled waterways of Nambucca Heads. Majestic Mondurin Dam, just north of Bundaberg. An old AFC favourite, picturesque Kania Dam. And a Woonga Dam, home to some of the biggest barramundi in Australia. Our final destination and the location where our champions will be crowned is the mighty Timbra Dam. Here, warm, tranquil waters provide an ideal environment for huge barramundi in excess of a metre. It's not about luck, it's not about chance, it's about skill, knowledge and the sheer determination to become this year's Australian Fishing Champions. I'm Steve Starling and welcome to gorgeous Lake Timbra in sunny North Queensland for the sixth and final round of the Australian Fishing Championships, The Road to Timbra. Timbra is also the last of our three new arenas for this series and you couldn't pick a more magnificent venue. I'm joined again by Daryl Beattie and Daryl, it'd be pretty hard to beat the action that we had last round at Lake Awunga, but with three teams still very much in contention, anything could happen today. That's right, Starla. It's been absolutely fantastic from Foster through to Awonga, but it's also been filled with lots of ups and downs. We've seen Matty Mott's first AFC victory and the relegation of two of the finest anglers, Tim Morgan and Carl Jacobson. We've seen it all. A look at the championship leaderboard shows Team Mercury out in front on 43 points. Team Humminbird are still fighting their way up the leaderboard. A win today could see Team Humminbird claim the title for a second year running. In third place is Team Berkeley, and nothing short of a first place and Big Fish could score them the championship today. With only 30 points, a Team Club Marine. They're unfortunately out of the championship race. But you can bet that both Jason Wilhelm and Carl Jockinson will be giving it their all here at Lake Timbra. Well, you'd have to say that last round at Awonga was pretty special, not only for some of the anglers, but for you viewers as well. Strategically, there were major differences between the winners and the losers. Team Humminbird targeted sunken weed beds on the edge of the old riverbed in the main basin of the lake to get their fish, as did Team Mercury. Team Club Marine and Team Berkeley fished the lake margins, which were nowhere near as productive. But the championship race is far from over. Daryl is down near the start line with Team Mercury. Now, Kieran, we know this is your favourite dam, but at this event, you could potentially be holding that trophy up high. Does that pressure make you nervous? Uh, yeah, it makes us both a bit nervous, actually. Uh, but we're both confident in this dam. We've got a lot of experience here. Hopefully, we can just stay consistent and take the championship out. And Motti, you've already won a bass round, but a, a victory in this event would put Team Mercury's best ever result into the AFC. Second year into the AFC, and, and to win it in your second year, that's a dream come true for me. Well, good luck, guys. We've got three other teams competing today. Let's hear what they've got to say about Timbra. Timbra Dam has a, a bit of history. There's a, a sunken homestead around one of the bays there with the roof is coming out. And there's lots of trees, lots of places for the fish to hide. There's points, there's bays. And we're, we're confident of putting a few fish on the board. Timbra Dam is a little bit different to a Woonga because the fish are a lot smaller. The average size is about 70 centimetres. So if someone can get onto a big metre plus fish, then they'll be in with a good chance of winning the tournament. Some of the other guys will be targeting their smaller fish just to get their bag and then look to upgrade. We're not going to do that. We're going to go straight to an area where we know there's big fish. Timber Dam is a great lake for surface lures. This is a tango dancer. I'll just be walking him along the surface early in the morning and late in the afternoon. And then in the daylight, we'll be using these deeper hard bodies. We're going to be casting them in and around the banks, and hopefully that'll work for us. 
we're not in the running for the championship, but um, we, uh, we definitely have pride in this shirt and we want to continue and um, hopefully we can win today. I'm not feeling nervous at all, but we really have to get a win and big fish to, to take home the championship. I've had a great pre-fish year with Sai, so we're just going to go out there, catch as many big fish as we can, and fingers crossed, Team Humminbird will be on top at the end. Humminbird have to do everything right today if they're to take out AFC for this year. I'm joined once again by Steve Morgan. Steve, two days, five hours each day, three teams can still win. And each of these teams know exactly what they need to both win this event, but to more importantly, win the championship. Of course, the Taylor brothers' favourites on this stand, they're the top two teams and they're vying for the title. Taylors are um, really kicking butt in the AFC this year. Um, we're on their home dam today. This is a dam they spend a lot of time on, so it's going to be really difficult. Well, it's going to be tough, Vess and my brother today. Uh, we've both got a lot of experience on the dam. We both know some good errors. Uh, hopefully the barrel will still be there today. The Ford Ranger clock is counting down for the final time. Ready? Push it down. Go. And we're off! <laughs> Harry Watson, as usual, just trying to pinch a little advantage at the start, but he is wearing his PFD like all our pros do every round of the AFC. Steve, what are the rules for the next two days? These four teams are fishing for their biggest five barrow a session over these next two sessions, and there's no minimum size for this tournament. Now, you know these guys. You see them fish year in, year out. What are you expecting for this final round? I think Barramundi fishing is all about form, and Team Humminbird won the Awonga event. My money's on them for this event at Teambra. As all our pros speed away to their first position of the afternoon, let's take a look at the weather conditions. It's going to be a mainly fine day, headed for a top of 26 degrees, and the wind only light to moderate coming out of the east to northeast. We had a lot of rain recently, and the water levels on Lake Timbra are up. And it's essentially a different lake from when Rod Collings set those fantastic ABT records back in 2006. It's risen from 20% right up to 60%, which means the barra will be in the shallows. Team Berkeley have just pulled up to their first spot. This is an area they spent a lot of time yesterday fishing soft plastics. A big log in there, a big lay down. That's what we're targeting, stuff like that. All these little bushes, things like that. With this barrel just laying beside it, we're gonna drop these little plastics in, give them a little shake and let them float down in front of them. Yep. He's in you? Yep, okay. he's coming. He's going hard, but I'll get him. You have to come around this side. I'll drive him straight through these. Here he comes. I'll just try and pole him in. Yeah! That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, baby. You come here. He's still pretty green. Of course he's green. How yeah, good's that? There you go. Pulled Not a big fella, but every fish counts in these tournaments. Harry's got him. We're going to put him on the mat now. Well, after a disappointing round five at Lake Awunga, that 65 centimetre fish 65. giving Team Berkeley a much better start. Now to Team Humminbird, no luck so far for them. We've just pulled up near these, near all this bush on the bank. Because there's no weed beds in the dam, the, the barrow use these, these as cover, so we're just casting as, as close as we can and just slow rolling it back. Oh yeah, I'm yep. on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, we need this fish, we need this fish badly. Oh yeah, we need it so badly. Oh yeah. I didn't even know I was on then. <laughs> he started to amount oh, with it, didn't he? This fish. Get rid of the net. Oh, oh, good, oh fish. good fish, good fish. Oh, oh don't jump. <laughs> oh, Cleo, get in the net. Get in the net. Oh, shit. <laughs> get in the net. Oh, please, don't fall off now. Oh, don't fall off. <laughs> don't fall off. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, please don't snap or anything. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm oh, sorry. that's so good. <laughs> I didn't breathe then for a little while. Well done, big fella. Great fish. <laughs> that is a great fish for team. On uh, a team, bro, isn't it? On a tough day like today, it's good to mm. get a fish out in the daylight. Yeah. They're really valuable. Look at that. Quick, hold your one. <laughs> okay, we gotta get in that now. <laughs> He's going uh, down here. We're putting him down here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought uh, I 
I'd crazy. stuffed it, and then I thought, so <laughs> stuffed it, but, but we caught him three times. <laughs> the Ford Ranger replay shows Hummingbird's fundamental mistake here. They've showed the fish off before they've got it onto the brag mat. Cy Taylor was lucky to get this fish in again. Nice fish, 76 centimetres. I was just casting right up into that edge there where, where, the, where it's a little bit shady. Just doing that same technique, just with the slick rig, and he just came out and hit it. There's plenty of life left in this beautiful Barramundi, and there's plenty of life left in this competition. When we return, our championship leaders have their challenges. Welcome back to our final round of AFC Outdoors coming to you from Lake Timbra in Queensland. A fantastic venue and here's Steve Starling to tell us a little bit more. Our final arena for this year's series of the Australian Fishing Championships is Timbra Dam. It's situated in Mackay's picturesque Pioneer Valley, approximately 50 kilometres west of Mackay City. This area is well known for its stunning beaches and picturesque islands, attracting thousands of tourists annually. Cane fields dominate the lower valley and surrounding areas, but give way to dense bushland the higher up the valley you travel. Near the top is Timbra. This beautiful dam was constructed in 1997 to cope with the increasing water demands of nearby towns and for irrigation purposes. But recently it's become a tourist attraction in its own right. Nearby accommodation, public barbecues, picnic facilities and easy access to a boat ramp make Timbra a popular leisure spot but its primary attraction is its fishing. This beautiful fish is a sooty grunter, and they're the other sport fish species that are regularly stocked here at Lake Timbra. Most anglers would be absolutely wrapped to catch one like this, but not our anglers today, because they're chasing barramundi. They want their fish to be silver, not black, but I'll get this beauty back into the water. Back over to Team Humminbird, Tim Morgan and one of our talented twins, Cy Taylor. Steve, what do we know about Cy? Well, Cy is the older of the two Taylor twins, and although he's got some great PBs, he actually caught no fish in his first ABT barra season. This, of course, was great motivation for him, and both he and Karen blitzed the ABT 2006 barra tour. As a result, we see him here now on AFC. Oh, yep, yep, barra, yep. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Yep, oh, he's going on a tree. Go, 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 go. So valuable fish. Do you want me to let electric us? Oh, yep, 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 go, go, go. Oh, I set the hooks pretty hard. He's on. Still on there? I think so. Just get ready with that net. Hopefully he's still on there. Come on, stay on. Oh, he's going on the tree. Oh, yep, he's still on. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, good fish. Good fish, good fish. Here he comes. Oh, don't fall out. Yes! <laughs> well yeah. done, big fella. Come on. <laughs> what a legend. Me hey? too. <laughs> Whew. Oh, that took a that while. was well done, mate. There he is. Nice little team Barra. When I hooked him, he, he ran around the tree. So what I did was uh, I free spilled the rod and just let him run and just follow the, follow the line. So it didn't abrade around the tree. So. Good fish. Great instincts there by Cy Taylor, born of lots and lots of experience on these barrel lakes. Well, with less than an hour of fishing time left in this first afternoon session on Lake Timbra, we've got another tough one on our hands. So far, only two of our teams have actually landed barramundi. That's Team Berkeley with one fish and Team Humminbird in the lead with two fish. But the sun's sinking behind the hills, the shadows are starting to creep out, and if there's going to be a late flurry of activity, it should happen in the next three quarters of an hour. Get on, 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 get her out of the tree, out of the tree. Back, 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 back. Net, 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 net. You got him out, you got him out? I got him out, net. You got him? Come on. Up get it in, get it in. You got him? Get it in there, mate. Oh, my God. What are you doing to me? Ready to go? He's heading. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, Kieran, you'd have to be the worst Ready? net person. Yeah. <laughs> One. Woo. 
Man, we had to fight for that. <laughs> now it's on. Game on now. <laughs> She's game on now. Yes. 76 centimetres. Oh, yeah. Man, that is just... I wasn't letting that one get off. He got me around that tree. I was just... Oh. Come on, this could be. We could, if we know one another one here now, we're not out of this. Yeah. We're not out of this by a long way. Right back in it. Right on cue. God. The barrel start biting inside the last hour of day one. Now here's Team Club Marine hoping for the same. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. Barra. <laughs> it's an actual Barra Monday. <laughs> Go, Jay. Go, son. You're kidding me. We've this got has a only on. taken five hours. <laughs> Sorry, four hours and if fifty-five this thing minutes. Falls off, it's only a little fella, on. but it's a barra, It's Monday. a barra. Oh, stay on, buddy. Stay on, buddy. <laughs> oh, buddy man, hell. you're joking. You're fine, little fella. Yeah, he's got plenty of sting. You want to drive the electric car? Yep, I'm trying to turn him. Stay on, buddy. We need you. <laughs> I can't believe this. God, he's putting up a show for a little fella. Yes, we caught a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> How long did uh, that take? Four hours and 55 minutes oh, to that's catch. that's all right. That's not too bad. The 70 centimetre barra. Yeah, he's all right. We've waited a long time for this fish, but um, the, the day's oh, culminated in the 75 centimetre barra, so... Yeah, I can't say I've been as happy to catch a um, such a small barra. All right, get I'll get this thing here. back in and we'll get one or two more casts in, I'd say. Nah, uh, we've got one minute. <laughs> oh, oh yes! 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 Oh, yes! Yes, you're joking! <laughs> On surface! We've got one minute to go! <laughs> no way! You're kidding me! <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be joking. Oh, no that was way. right where you caught him. Oh, oh no. stay in, Hooks. Stay oh. in. No! no oh. Jump. oh, no, stay in. Please stay in, Hooks. Oh, this is just You're crazy. You're joking me. This is crazy. This at is the death. insane. Absolutely oh. at the death. You're kidding me. Come on, lead oh. him around. Lead him around, Carl. Oh. Oh, yes! <laughs> two in two cast. It is. It is six o'clock on, on the, the GPS dot. time. <laughs> it was 5.59. Yes. <laughs> We've got two barra in four minutes. 7.20, mate. Awesome. OK. Now, that is not a big fish, but it would have to be one of the most <laughs> memorable fish. <laughs> I can't believe it. Four minutes. Have not got a bite for how many hours? Five, Five hours. hours. Four minutes to go. Jace gets a 74. It was 5.59 on the clock. One minute to go. Had one cast with a surface popper. And he's drilled it. Yeah, so as I'm releasing my fish, Carl's put a cast straight out the back of the boat, exactly where I, where I hooked my fish, and he's hooked up on his surface lure, and it's just gone ballistic. So you never give up. Ever give you up. You never, ever give up, because that's what happens. Let's let him go. Thank you, buddy. You're a miracle worker. So the most amazing finish to a session we have ever seen on AFC. Team Club Marine are our leaders after day one at 147 centimetres, just ahead of Team Humminbird. Team Mercury landed one fish at 76 centimetres. Team Berkeley bringing up the rear, one at 65. Stay with us. We've got all the action from day two when we return. Oh, baby. Welcome back to AFC Outdoors, our final round coming from Lake Timbra in Queensland. It is early morning on day two. And Steve, what will the difference be for our pros fishing this early morning compared to yesterday's late afternoon? Well, Timber Dam is famous for its early morning topwater bite, and we sure do like a topwater bite on AFC Outdoors. If it's going to happen, this is the last session and their last chance to get some fish on those lures. Lovely shot of where Team Club Marine have set up for the morning. Let's pick up the action now. Let's head over to Team Mercury. Just the one fish caught yesterday. That was caught by Matthew Mott. His partner is Karen Taylor. We've already heard about Cy. What about Karen, Steve? Karen Taylor was the 2006 ABT Barra Angler of the Year. And everyone wants to beat Karen, not only on the ABT tour, but in the AFC as well. 
Kerrin's the future of barrow angling in Australia and he spends a massive amount of time on the water. That's why he stays at the top of his game. Oh, yep, go! Yep, yep. Go, oh. baby! Woo. Go hard, mate, go hard. Just settle down now, settle down. You've got him. Settle down. Here he comes, here he comes. Settle down. Settle down, settle down. That's it. Yeah. Come on. Here comes. Where's a nice fish? Oh, Ooh. what a catch. Yes. Get that up, you boys. And the Ford Ranger replay shows one of the most spectacular surface strikes we've ever seen on AFC Outdoors. That barramundi absolutely crunches his tango dancer lure, and Karen's stuck with the situation where he has to fish his threadline tackle to the limit to get the fish out of the gully and into the boat. Oh, we've been just working our way along the bank near the boat ramp, and uh, we've come up along this little point, and I've just cast in with a surface lure and twitched it a couple of times, and bang, that fish just grabbed it. He's 79 centimetres, so it's good fish, so we'll release it now. And that good-sized fish has put Team Mercury, our championship leaders, in front here at Teambra by just eight centimetres. You'll see behind me Karen Taylor using one of these topwater or surface lures. Now, it's the retrieve that makes this such a special thing for Catch and Barra. He's using a retrieve style called walking the dog. It's where you have to flick the rod tip and wind the handle at the same time. It's sort of like rubbing your belly and patting your head. But once you get used to that technique, it is fantastic for catching really big Barra. Here's Team Humminbird. They haven't caught anything so far today, and they wouldn't know that their main rivals, Team Mercury, have now hit the front. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, he's more. He's only teeny. Pulling him in. <laughs> if we can just get one, but. <laughs> oh, he's pulling him in. Oh, he's only teeny. It's all right, we'll take it. <laughs> That's a big enough one to put us in the lead from Club Marine yesterday. <laughs> oh, that is teeny. There is, there is 36 centimetres, so shows how healthy Timber Dam is if the little fish are biting. So I'll let him go and hopefully he can grow up to be a big meter. Good things come in small packages because we have another lead change. Team Humminbird are our new leaders by 21 centimetres. Now, things are not happening for Team Club Marine. They are on the move to the other end of the lake. This year's season, the AFC has probably been the closest ever. Three teams have got a chance of winning the whole competition today, so we've just got to buckle down, try and get a couple of big fish, and, and hopefully it's us. It's no, it's no shame coming last when you're in a competition like this. All the guys fishing are probably some of the best in the country, so... But we like winning because, you know, it's, it's pride on the line. Oh, yeah, mine again. Oh, this is bigger. Oh, this is good. Oh, oh good this is going to put us right in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get in there. Oh, don't come off. Don't come off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Next cast in. Next cast. Oh, get ready for that. Let go of the motor. Oh. That surface lure is coming Here he comes, off. he's coming. Oh, stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Oh, get that net. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh he's got so much power. <laughs> go net, this net, side. Net. Oh, net. Oh, this is crazy. Here he comes. Yes. Yes. Well done, big boy. <laughs> How good is Sai? The very next cast, he's hooked this fish here, so... <laughs> well done, big fella. That's awesome. <laughs> yep, just there. 69. 69. That puts them well on the lead by 90 centimetres, but they still need the big fish bonus if they want to pinch the championship title. Now, we're looking down on Team Berkeley. They caught the first fish on day one, but since then, they have had no joy whatsoever. <sighs> yep. What's that? Put him, put him in. Yes. Hold him. Beautiful. Number one. There we go. He's not big, but he's still a paramundi. <laughs> Lattice calcarifa. You beauty. They all count, brother. They all count. You can mat him. 380 on the nose. 
That's all right. That could win us the comp. I'll take it. Time for a break on AFC Outdoors. The competition tightens up when we return. Yes! Welcome back to the Australian Fishing Championships. Our chopper giving you a wonderful view of Timbra Dam just outside Mackay in Queensland. This is day two of the sixth and final round. And just between those trees we can see Team Berkeley and that's where we find Steve Starling and Daryl Beatty. Well, we're just two hours into the event and Starlo, it's amazing that Club Marine were just here recently. Now Berkeley are in their spot. Look, this is a pretty small arena and the guys are going to end up fishing the same areas. But what's really interesting is that Club Marine fished through here early, didn't get any action at all. Berkeley have come in. They've had two or three hits already. So maybe the fish are starting to wake up as the sun gets higher and warms the water. We probably won't see that surface action, but the fish are still in the shallows and they're chasing those bait fish. Yep. See? Told you. To the boat, brother. Do you want me to go around? Yep. Go keep in around. contact. You'll come out, actually. Get the net, mate. Ah! What am I going to do? <laughs> Come on, mate. You're right. Let's go. Now, Jason Medcalf knows exactly how important that fish was. They're staring at the wooden spoon. <sighs> That's fishing. Now, we saw Team Club Marine moving. They've settled right up the back of Timber Creek. And really, apart from that fantastic four minutes at the end of day one, they've found it tough. Yep, got him. Oh, yes. Yep, little barra. Yep, 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 yep. He's all right. Yep. <sighs> <laughs> Stay on him, mate. What do I just say? <laughs> Here we go. It's bass gear, so I want to get him. We can get a shot now. Yes! He's all right. Yeah. He's a 60. He's a 65, high 60s. <sighs> that is an important fish. That, that fish there could win us the comp. It's early days, but um, to get a One fish more. like that, with um, we've still about three hours to go in the comp, gives us a lot of confidence and um, really puts us in a good frame of mind. So I'm ecstatic that, that um, Carl just nailed that fish. 61 centimetre barra, and a day like this, that's great. So uh, let's get him back in the water. That puts Team Club Marine into second position. Oh, Steve Starling caught up with Jason Wilhelm and Team Berkeley's Jason Medcalf after the pre-fish. Jace Wilhelm, uh, favourite fish or a fish you'd most like to catch or that you enjoy catching the most and a place to catch it, what would you pick? Oh, Steve, I'd easily say Barramundi. I've, I've been an addict on the barra since I first went to the Territory as a teenager. Um, yeah, I just love the way they feed, I love the way they fight and they're um, a species that I don't think anyone will ever figure out completely, so you're always learning with them. What about you, Jase? Well, um, I have to admit, Steve, I'm actually a bit of a mangrove jack addict. It's, uh, it's probably been my passion for the last 15 years. My most favourite place to fish from is uh, Baffle Creek near my home yep. in Bundaberg. How do you get on with your fellow teammates, particularly Harry Watson? Harry sometimes comes across, I think, um, not as friendly as he actually is. He is actually a, a great guy. He's got a great sense of humour, that's for sure. And, and Scotty Town, I'll tell you what, he's, he's one of the nicest guys you'll meet. And uh, yeah, having those guys on hand, very handy. Jace Wilhelm, we still hear from people who uh, say that they're, you know, they're a bit scared of entering an ABT tournament. They see these big flash boats and obviously skilled anglers. What would be your advice to those people? Oh, Starla, I'll just say, go and have a go. I mean, you know, it does look daunting from the outside, but, you know, once you go to your first event and you just see how friendly and everyone, everyone is and how free they are to give information and, and to help you out, I'd suggest that anyone that is half interested in, in fishing an ABT event to go and have a go and, um, who knows, they may just end up on the AFC. <laughs> they might well do that. Good luck anyway. No worries. Thanks, Darlo. Back over to Team Humminbird, our leaders so far with a length of 245 centimetres. The day and the competition starting to really heat up. Yep, yep, yep. Got the fish. No, oh. no, he spat it. Oh. Bad life. Oh, no. I'm not sure whether Team Humminbird fully appreciates that loss. If that barrel was over 80 centimetres, they would have taken the championship lead from Team Mercury. I was still fishing in close to the ramp, the bank's near close to the boat ramp, near the start line, and we've just fished in the trees and got one hit, 
So now we've moved out to these main basin points. There's no trees, you can put in really long casts and cover more ground. Oh, yes, yeah. oh. Woo. Go buddy. That's the way. That's the way, buddy. That's why you're the batter champ. He's on this side. He's on there. Take your time, mate. Take your time. Oh, he's going. You're right. Come That's on. the way, buddy. Come on. Come on. That's the way. That's the way. Oh, look at that. Come on. Come on. Come on, fish. Oh, he's only just hooked. Here we go. This time. I've got his head in. Yeah! Woo! Number one on the water, baby. Well yeah. done, mate. You are the champ. <laughs> okay, he's 70. 7 0, boys. 7 0. That's our second fish on a surface lure, a tango dancer. We just smacked it up near that, those little trees on the shore. So we're going to release it and hopefully we can get number three. Time for a break on AFC Outdoors. Stay with us because yes, one yes, cast yes, yes. could win the title. Go, 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 go. Back with the action at Lake Timbra and this is it. We are inside the last half an hour of competition and we're with Team Humminbird who are still looking for that big fish. I've just gone to the slick rig, which so I caught the two fish on this morning. The sun's getting a bit high in the sky, the water's a bit clear now to throw the surface lure. I've just thrown some mega strike scent on this lure and hopefully it'll produce the goods and, and not only look like a bait fish, smell like one as well. Tim Morgan's reaching for every trick in the book now to make his slick rig look different from Cy Taylor's. That maximises their chance of getting that kicker fish. Team Mercury, on the other hand, they know that one more Barramundi gonna be is going to virtually seal the AFC title for them. Be good TV, though. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, oh no, no, get no, out. Go, 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 go. Right, he's there. He got him. Free spilling if he doesn't. No, I've got, him, I've got him, I've got him, I've got him. Got him? Net, 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 net. Oh. Oh. It's a sooty grunter. Well, any other time you'd be absolutely stoked to catch a sooty grunter like that. We thought that was the barrow that we needed, but unfortunately he's come in. But um, still a beautiful fish and put up a great fight. I thought he had me in the trees, but we ended up getting him out. There you go. A team for a sooty grunter. Beautiful specimen. Heartbreak for Team Mercury. They remain 20 centimetres behind the boys in yellow, Team Humminbird. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep him on, keep him on. Oh, he's got... Oh, go, go. Just... Put, you got him out? Yeah, not yet. I'll go in there. Don't get too much pressure on him. Yeah, he's out. Oh, is it hooks? He's out, he's out. Is, is he a barra? Yeah. He's a sooty. Oh, he's a barra. No, it's a sooty. Oh, Big sooty. Don't. <laughs> oh, huge sooty. <laughs> Big sooty, you just want to grab. Look at that thing. <laughs> Look at that slick rig's totally gone. <laughs> he got me hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big sooty, isn't it? That's huge. <laughs> that is a big sooty grunny. You can see how fat he is like that. And that 100 mil slick rig. <laughs> Only the nose of it's poking out there. <laughs> oh, he got me hopes up for a sec, didn't he? He ticked it just like a big barra inhaling it. Set the hook. And away he goes. So, beautiful little fish. Team Club Marine, can they repeat yesterday's performance and strike within the last five minutes? Yeah, got him! Oh, yes! Yeah. Yes, good barra. No, Lovely. little fella. <laughs> it's a barra. <laughs> oh, stay down, little fella. Oh, he stayed on. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Get in. Only a little bike. It's all right. This, this is what we need. I'm ready whenever you are, mate. I'll swap sides Here with you. Here we go. In. Oh, oh, don't do that. Oh. I only got 40 pound, I'm on Basky. Uh, I can't see because of the sun. Uh, come on, big fella. Come on, mate, stay on. Just come in, mate. Just come in. Yes! There's oh, two yeah, barra. That's two. Two barra. Yes. 
Look he ain't gonna fly. It is gone. The Ford Ranger replay shows us that Carl Jockinson has hooked himself a little live wire. This barramundi's jumping all over the place, and that's when you have the greatest chance of losing them. Strategically, Club Marines made a great decision, moving from Timber Creek to down near the dam wall. But is that fish big enough? All right, well, it looks like the other boys have struggled. We've just heard that Team Berkeley's only got one fish, and Team Hummingbird have got two, and so have Team Mercury, mate. So. Club Marines' luck might have finally changed. We've, um, we've got the two, and we're happy with that, and we're in front leading into this day, so we might have finally done it. Well Fingers done, Jase. It's awesome. been awesome. We've had a great couple of days fishing. Bloody oath. Let's get back there. OK, here we are the last round and the last day of the AFC this year. Up until now, we're leading. We put our best foot forward here at, at Teambra. It's been a real pleasure fishing with Kieran and with Dizzy. And um, hopefully we've uh, stayed on top. We've done everything we could today with those two fish to keep us up there. And uh, it's been a great joy fishing with a young fellow who's really taught me a few things. And thanks, mate. Yeah, we've both had heaps of fun. Uh, it'd be really good to see how we've gone in the championship. I think one more fish would have really counted to uh, beat my brother on Team Humbird, but we'll get back there and see how, we all, see how we all go. Who will be crowned AFC champions? We'll find out when we return. Welcome back to AFC Outdoors. Our final round from Lake Timber in Queensland has been completed. It's time to find out just who is the winner. First up, our Aloha Boats Big Fish of the Day went to Team Mercury, 79 centimetres, securing them two bonus points. That last fish of the day was enough to give Team Club Marine the win in round six, and they scored 10 points. They were 25 centimetres ahead of Team Humminbird in second on eight points. Team Mercury also secured eight points, courtesy the bonus two, and yet again, another disappointing day for Team Berkeley. So to the championship leaderboard, and for the first time, Team Mercury are our AFC champions. They finished ahead of Team Humminbird, who started slowly but came on strong towards the end. The win by Team Club Marine in this final round has seen them snare third position by just the one point over Team Berkeley. Well, after six nail-biting rounds, it came down to this final event at Teambra Dam. And with three of our teams still very much in contention, it could have gone any way. Daryl, this series has had it all. Starla, it's been absolutely fantastic to see Barramundi caught with four minutes to run yesterday. It was spectacular just to watch. You know, this has definitely been the toughest AFC series that I can remember, and we deliberately chose the most challenging venues to put our pros through their paces. And of of course, the cream rose to the surface in the end, but they all fished extremely well. And let's talk to fourth placed Team Berkeley. Scotty Towner, a little tinge of disappointment, I guess. Yeah, it was after winning last year. It was a you know no greater feeling to win it, but then um, you now with the depth of talent this year to come fourth, it's still you know it's still pretty good. But um, next year, I think we'll be back trying to win it again. Harry Watson, uh, you guys were on top halfway through the series and just sort of slowly slid off the pace. It's pretty competitive, isn't it? It is competitive, Starla. Like it's basically what you said. It's the cream of the cream here, so you you got to be prepared to take the wins with the losses. Jason, uh, an extra tinge of disappointment for you, I guess, being relegated from the Barra Fishery. Uh, your first time in, and you only lasted the one season. Are you keen to try and qualify and get back into the AFC? Oh, absolutely, Steve. It's uh, like you say, with only two rounds, it's pretty hard to prove yourself. And I'll be pretty keen to get back in and uh, see if I can do it again. Well, Duffy, this is your first year in the AFC. Did you really enjoy it? I've had an absolute ball, Daryl. It's been better than I expected, and I can't wait to get back next year. Carl, you were 2005 champion. You really felt the highs in the AFC, but a big low this year in the Bass round. Yeah, definitely, Daryl. You know, as Jay said, it's extremely hard to prove yourself with only two rounds, but I've had an absolute ball as usual, and fishing with Jason the Barra and having that session, it was just awesome. I can't wait to try and get back in. Jason, take us through those moments right at the end. Four minutes to run, hooking up Barra. Must have been exciting. Oh, Daryl, it was a long day. We'd, we'd struggled all day. We didn't have a strike, but we just stuck with it and stayed positive and um, used the tried and proven technique. And um, those last four minutes um, will probably live in my memory for a very long time. Tim, you've been on all the rounds this year. Disappointment in the brim, but you've had some great highs in the, in the Bass and Barra. Yeah, it's been an absolutely awesome series. I'm really disappointed with how I went in the brim, and, and I'm really proud of how si and went and I went in the Bass and Barra to get us back up to second. So si, you've lost an 80 centimetre barra that could potentially have got you biggest fish for this round and the championship how was that yeah that was fairly tough but that's fishing you know i had a lot of fun fishing with tim so 
Yeah, it's great. Dizzy Borg, you fished a lot of ABT events. You fished a lot of tough competition. Does this rate right up near the top? I would say this would have been the, the toughest couple of competitions I've ever fished in my life. Definitely. What about you, Karen? Uh, it's your first time ever in the AFC. What memories will you take away with you? Oh, yeah, to win and fish in my first ever AFC, it's just an awesome feeling. But I've had heaps of fun fishing with Monty and Dizzy this year, and I can't wait to have another shot at next year, too. <laughs> now, Monty, you're almost uh, becoming a veteran of the AFC now. I've watched you go through the full gamut of emotions from the highs to the lows over these six rounds. Uh, it's a bit of a roller coaster, isn't it? Oh, definitely, Steve. But to win that bass was absolutely beyond my oldest dreams. And then to win the title overall, what can you say? It's just unbelievable. Well, it gives me great pleasure to crown this year's champions. Team Mercury, give them a big round of applause. Good yeah, boys. Yeah. All right. Woohoo! Well, that brings us to the end of another action-packed AFC Outdoors series. And what an absolute cracker this one has been. Daryl, some highlights for you? Starla, I really enjoyed watching the brim anglers at Foster inside those racks and the timbers here at Timbra and that look on Jason Medcar's face when he lost that big barra in amongst all that timber. What about you, Adam? Oh, this year it was all about a wonga for me. I loved the, the fact that Carl Jockinson wrestled that metre plus barra Mundy out of the water, but the piste resistance was watching Jason Wilhelm go in after his rod. Absolute gold. <laughs> Some great moments that we'll relive. We'll be back, of course, and in fact, we've got a little surprise in store for you because coming up very soon on this network, you'll be able to watch the ABT Ford Ranger Brim Grand Final to find out who qualifies to be our new Brim Angler in next year's series. Meanwhile, if you want to find out anything about the series, including how to work your way up through the ladder and qualify to fish in it yourself, visit our website at fish net.com.au We look forward to catching you next time but just before we go, it wouldn't be an AFC without a little traditional dunking for those winning anglers.